Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've kind of got an answer and an update as to what happened with the SEC fake announcement. Um, I don't think it was a fake announcement. And honestly, to be quite honest, the excuse, it brings more questions than answers, to be quite honest. So the SEC reveals SIM swap attack behind the false B Bitcoin ETF approval announcement. So a, a SIM swap attack on the US SEC's Twitter account led to a false tweet about Bitcoin's ETF approval. As we all know, we can um, now see that they're coming out and they're saying specifically it was a SIM swap and that was how they got access. But like I said, this raises a lot more questions than answers, in my opinion, because in the United Kingdom, this is actually a very common thing. And I've had a few friends go through this process and it's not there's only realistically two ways to do this. Now, if you go to somewhere like Norton, Antivirus, somewhere like that to get a definition, SIM swapping happens when scammers contact your mobile phone's carrier and trick them into activating a SIM card that fraudsters have. Once this occurs, the scammers have control over your phone number. And then by that, they can just reset things with the SMS codes, different stuff like that. Now, let's just, let's role play a little bit here and let's think about the SEC's account, right? And the mobile number behind this. There's realistically, like I said, there's two ways to do this. And the other route involves there being an inside person. So realistically, we're ringing up the SEC's phone provider specifically for that account. For them to even have got that information means that it's been leaked somewhere, likely on the dark net, and someone's got access to that. Now, imagine them calling up and saying, yeah, hi, yep. Yeah, it's uh, Chad here from the uh, SEC. Um, yep, yeah, we're having this crazy problem. Right? We, we need to get this tweet out, but we've um, we've really messed up. We left our phone with our SIM in Barcelona. We were partying with the boys. You know, you know, Chad. It's it's one of those things. Gary loves to party. Chad does too. But anyway, so you know, we're just wondering if you could erase that other SIM. We're just gonna completely get that one thrown away over there, and we're gonna. We're going to use this new SIM. Um, could you just change it all over? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I just don't see any of that happening. I really don't. So what I'm thinking here is there's an inside person. So here over at Ubico, they're saying the sec second technique includes an insider, usually a rogue mobile carrier employee. But this is less common. And it's, like I said, it raises so many more questions than answers. And I'm just not buying into um this explanation for it and like i said right they specifically say on all of their like profiles oh here to protect investors but this wasn't protecting investors in fact this got a lot of people liquidated it removed a lot of the backing steam behind the etf run so not only did we get stung bad on the etfs with the current outflow uh through blackrock and grayscale and places like that but we're also getting hits like this from the people who are supposed to be protecting us. So I'm just not buying into it. I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid that they're selling. And I think a lot of other people are going to jump on this and going to say, hey, this is a little bit off. SIM swapping doesn't add up. And, and, and if it does add up, they've got some serious security issues going on over at the SECs. And it just, it puts so many more things into question, doesn't it? Because they're expected to set an example for everybody to lead by and them sort of saying, oh, you know, make sure you've got your two-factor authentication. Right, hang on a minute. Even if, you know, you did, you literally are saying this is a SIM card swap and, and somebody has rung up and actually pretended to be you. You're the SEC. How can you not track this? How could you not track if this was an inside person or it was part of probably maybe the phone provider that they were using who knows, right? There's so many people involved in crypto that that is a possible route that could have happened. It could have unfolded and it could have transpired. And all of this could be true. But I'm just not buying it. So even if you go into this and, and take a deeper look, there realistically just is only two routes to, um, to doing this. And the whole sort of system behind this is in order to more or less go through and start resetting accounts through SMS reset codes. Oh, I've forgotten my password. Okay, we'll send you a reset code to your account. We all know how heavily we're all tied into this, but think about 
just how bad this looks for the SEC at this point. And I don't think they've quite thought this through because at this point, right, the attacker could have just gained access to all of their banking systems, all of the different systems, instead of going for money for anything they could have gone for, they went for a tweet. And I just don't understand. It wasn't, it didn't make any sense. And I just feel like they did this. We'll never know but they did this and they're just going to lie through their teeth like they always do. It will get brushed under the rug. And then we simply just end up with tweets like this from Gary, the scapegoat Gensler. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about this explanation. Are you believing this? Are you buying this? Are you drinking the Kool-Aid? What do you think? Have you been a victim to SIM swapping before? I haven't personally. I keep my security tight knit um, just specifically with doing all of these kind of things. But like I said, I've got friends that this has happened to. But let me know in the comment section. Other than that, drop a like on the way out, folks. Really does help the algorithm. We've got Patreon and if you want to sign up for that for extra benefits. Um, if you've got LUNC, consider delegating with us. We've got our own auto compounding at hccfactory.com. You can earn great stake and rewards over there on your LUNC. Folks, I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe, stay humble.